Spent a lot of money in this casino. I need my marker up. You're having a credit problem with Jay? All the guys on the floor right now are trying to locate this eight-year-old child in the casino. We've been through this entire building and have not seen anybody matching that description. I've never been in a menage This party is shut down. This party is shut down. Las Vegas. It'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. Every day, Binion's welcomes 15,000 guests through its doors. From businessmen to brides, the casino takes care of them all. The one great thing about the casino industry is that it's never consistent. As much as experience as I've had in my 30 plus years in the business, you always learn something new every day. You always see something new and something different on the casino floor. And that's part of what I loved and why I got into the business originally. Today, the casino gives a hero's welcome to a Las Vegas legend, Mayor Oscar Goodman. The Binion Cowgirls. All right. No wonder I'm the happiest mayor in the universe. He's chosen Binion's as the location for his last official visit before retiring for good. How are you, Oscar Goodman? Nice to see you. Hi, Corey. How are you? Thank you. I'm Jana. Hi, Jana. How you doing? Good. Are we going to uh, go in like yeah. uh, stars? Yeah. Here we go. Star, star. Right, there we go. <laughs> Goodman is part of the Las Vegas establishment. As a lawyer, he represented some of the most notorious characters in Vegas. Goodman is so much a part of the city, he played himself in Martin Scorsese's classic film, Casino. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Have a good day. Uh, you know, Binion's, uh, to me, is a very special place. I used to uh, meet Benny Binion here and his uh, sons. Uh, for lunch almost on a daily basis. And when I come back here, it reminds me of those classic Las Vegas days. And you can, only, uh, you can only get that feeling when you go into a place where the memories are there. And that's why I love coming into Binion's. This is good, right here is good. This is wonderful. Binion's with the heart and soul of downtown, the history, I think it's got a special place in his heart. This is the mayor's 15th official visit to Binion's and Glenn is excited to introduce his guest. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a special treat today for you. It's one of his last days in office after 12 years of supporting downtown and supporting Las Vegas. He's been one of the best mayors, and he's also the happiest mayor in the universe. I am that. His honor, Mr. Goodman. Okay. He got very, very uh, nervous there because he said, uh, I'm one of the best mayors. I've been the best mayor that any city ever had. Now, don't give me one of these, one of the best things. Love being the mayor of the city of Las Vegas. Greatest city in the world and so full of history and so full of life and vitality. And I hope everybody makes a fortune here today. Uh, that's uh, the least that could happen. And uh, if you don't, then uh, uh, don't come to me for a loan tomorrow because I am out of work. <laughs> So dealers, shuffle up and get the cards in the air. <laughs> Binion's has become a real supporter of what we're trying to do in the downtown here. We've tried to revitalize downtown Las Vegas, and this is a privilege to be here today. Ladies, I think I'm out of here. The mayor's been a great friend of Binion's. Yeah. Not wasting a moment here. And the mayor's a celebrity, so it's very important to... Uh, to Binion's. He didn't visit any other casino downtown. He visited Binion's. Okay, ladies, I'll see you, okay? See Take care. Thank Thanks for everything. You. You're great. Goodman concludes his last official duty, though the chain of office is being kept in the family. He's being replaced by his wife. <laughs> Weddings in Vegas go hand in hand. The wedding business generates more than $400 million a year for the city. Wedding parties mean big bucks for Binion's. 
bachelorette parties. We like them to have a good time. We want to know that this is a party place they can have fun. Angel gets married in the morning. The party is just getting started. Angel's best friend, Tara, is the ringleader. She's created three challenges for Angel. Number one. Angel, please take a read. Read it aloud and let everyone know what you'll be doing. Okay. You must find a security guard in the casino and give him a big, wet kiss. Come on. Angel finds a willing participant, but he's not security. Security! Security! Angel's Angel. gonna be a devil L.A. musician Jay has been gambling at Binion's for more than four years. But tonight, the cards aren't being kind to Jay. He's down $20,000, the extent of his credit line. His only chance for a comeback is if Binion's will extend his credit. I've spent a lot of money in this casino. I need my marker up, and I need it, market. I need it now. I need I it now. I'm really frustrated. The only problem I have, I personally can't do it. What do you mean? You can't, you can't? Raise my marker. I have to get clearance from my well, supervisor, who's Glenn. Let me get him on the phone. In situations like that, people get upset. You know, we've had fights outside the pits and fights between players. And when people want to go above and beyond their credit line, especially who's the level of player that Jay is, I want to get him calmed down and satisfied as quickly as possible. He's upset because I can't extend his credit line. All right, I'm on my way. All right, thanks. You gotta do this. Okay. Because, because, way right here. Guys, guys. Hey, Mark. Glenn. Mark. What's, what's man, up? I, yeah, you know what? Lower. I'm having a, I'm having a bad settle man. Down. It's hard to settle down. down. I'm having a Go bad down. run. Settle down. He can't bump my marker. Uh, no. We do extend credit to uh, customers that have a certain credit rating. Depending on how much money they have in their bank accounts and stuff like that, is how we determine uh, what type of line we're gonna give somebody. What's the current, his current line? 20,000. 20, All right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, I'll, I'll increase it for this trip only. Okay, we'll take it up uh, 10%. Oh, okay. come on, Glenn. I'm a way better player than 10%. That doesn't give me a chance. That's too bad. That's four hands. You know me. You know my trip. I've been here a long time. Right. A good, go you know, good customer. And I need it because it's gone. Everything. And I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and um, I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Jay's holding out for another ten thousand dollars. What are you looking for? Fifty percent. Fifty. Fifty percent. So that's a little steep for this situation here. No, I want yeah. you know I'm looking out for you too, Jay. Yeah, are you sure you want to you want to go that high with it? You know what I mean? Man, if 500 bucks a hand, I mean, what? No, what, you I know, know but you want to put yourself in that type of situation. Well, I mean, you know I, know I mean? don't want to be in the situation I'm in. I don't want to be in the situation I'm in. I got to have enough bump to try to get back in the zone. Jay wanted 50 percent of his credit line. You're really better off with the help of the casino and the help of the player. Try not to overextend them in any type of credit line, because it doesn't do anybody any good if they run out of credit or if they run out of cash and they can't pay the credit line. How about if we do 25% and you and I will go upstairs and have dinner? And we'll see how it goes. Give yourself a little breather. 30, 30. Okay, 30. 30, 30, 30 and I'll still buy you dinner. Oh, all right, Carl. Okay. <laughs> they shake on six grand. All right, is this, where do you want to play? You pick your table. Where it's do you want to go? It's pretty lady right here. This is good? Yeah. Okay. 
Sit down, relax, it'll be through right. the system in a minute. When you lose that kind of money, it happens, but it never makes you happy. Never makes you happy. Within an hour, Jay's $26,000 in the hole, and Binion's cuts him off for the night. Angel's bachelorette party is in full swing. She's been set three challenges. You gotta be hot, Angel. Not anybody. He has to be hot. Like that kind of hot. Like that. One down. She's now trying to find a guy who will strip to the waist for a photo. The third dare proves difficult to swallow. But Angel's friends have one more surprise for the bride-to-be. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let's go! Security supervisor to the guest services desk. Report of a missing child. Copy. As these guests came up to the desk, uh, they got separated from an eight-year-old African-American juvenile. Take me to where you guys last saw him, and then we'll work from there. We was right up here. We couldn't. We, they, they told me to come back this way. OK. The eight-year-old little boy has wandered away from his mom, LaToya, and grandma, Tonika. And walk that way. Don't go on that way. To the bathroom. He's been missing for 45 minutes. Let me show you a picture of him. Let's get a name and let's get a page throughout the casino, please. I got my guys out there trying to see if they're still on the floor, so. Okay, then. Right. John Bonte, please come to the security desk near the front door. I'm going to go out and walk the floor to help my guys so we can actually start checking more areas. Right? Okay, thank you. Okay. It's a big place. Uh, people get lost, separated. It's very easy to get disoriented in here. However, oh, we got an eight year old child involved. Everybody's kind of nervous and frantic. Harris and his team have to cover 80,000 square feet of casino to find the child. Yeah, I'm working west to east right now. All the guys on the floor right now are trying to locate this eight-year-old. We're checking restrooms, we're checking hallways, stairwells, and try to get this group reunited so we can get them to wherever they got to go. Just you up here? Yeah. You didn't see no kids lost or anything, right? No. Okay, bud. Thank you. Binion's security staff have been searching for a missing eight-year-old for two hours with no luck. Right now, we're still searching for the child in the casino. Casino is clear. East restroom is also clear. We've been through this entire building and have not seen anybody matching that description. We already cleared upstairs. After two hours of searching, Harris and his security team are getting desperate. OK, copy. I'm checking the mezzanine right now. Negative contact east side. Uh, we are unable to locate this child anywhere in the casino. Uh, all our back house areas, all the main floor areas, we have no contact or any visual with this child. Control, uh, did they reunite yet? After nearly three hours, Finally, some good news. Copy, Harris. Uh, the kid just walked up at the front desk. Go ahead and call the search. All units, disregard the bolo for the missing juveniles at the desk. Adam, take the control copy. 
I think everybody, I think everybody can count for it. Okay, so we all accounted for it. Where is that? The child's stepfather has found him. The boy had wandered out of the casino, distracted by a show. I figured he went outside. There's relief all around, but not for this kid. He's got a lot of explaining to do. Your uncle and your godfather are coming up here to meet with you. They want to talk to you. No. Yeah, your so, mama too. Losing a child in Vegas is a parent's worst nightmare. I've never done it on my lunch break. Oh! I never pissed in the pool. Oh! <laughs> I've never had sex on the first date. The spirits are high at Angel's bachelorette party as she waits for her surprise. I have sex on every first date. Room. She didn't want Hello? From the front desk? Who's done it? Oh, kill me. Hey, guys, we got some complaints from the people below us, so we got to try to keep it down just a little bit. We've never got complaints. We've never done that before. Everybody drink. I've never been in a menage We've been having disturbances in here. Okay. Listen, the rest of the hotel guests here, they've been complaining about the noise all night. Okay, we'll bring it down. Oh, what's the purpose of all this noise? I mean, I can hear you from five, 25 feet down the hall. We were just having a bachelorette party. And we're bringing it down. How, how many people have you got in this? Wait, listen. We got a problem here. I need you to take this seriously here for a second because we got a bunch of hotel guests here and they're hanging out here. Angela's Aunt Barbara reckons there's more to this security guard than meets the eye. <laughs> Angel wants her gift to start the unwrapping. Stripper's done his dance, but the party's far from over. <laughs> Some of Binion's customers don't need a party to behave badly. This guy is a one-man show. All right, give me the lay of the land here. Who's married? You have to watch out for married. the married ones. Married? Taken. Single. This one? She's the one. When's the last time you made out while playing blackjack? It's a once in a lifetime. Wait, are you eight? And I'm 13. Do you know what we get when we get together? 21. Blackjack. You want to have a threesome with her and me? couple of her favorite things. <laughs> All right, so, okay. okay, so she's a ballet dancer, and she loves feet. Seriously, you like your feet, I like feet, it's very compatible. Let me explain. I've never kissed a foot before, but I think I could do a good job. <laughs> Well, if you're going to do it, yeah. you have to, like, get on your knees and do it. Here we go. Her feet. I didn't do it. Uh, good foot. No. See how dirty they are? It's kind of dirty, actually. 
Her feet were very dirty. <laughs> they smelled a little bit bad. And and that kind of ruined the whole thing. Feet together. Number nine, this is your foot. Okay. Just hold on to that. There we go. A double foot massage. <laughs> Apparently, sloppy seconds don't rate in Vegas. It's 3 a.m. and Angel's bachelorette party is still in full swing. Turns out this security officer is not a party favor. Y'all ready to box? I'm sorry you all, but this party is shut down. This party is shut down. Time to leave. Is this your party? I'm gonna get my shoes and I'm gonna bounce too. <laughs> oh, wait. So Angel's bachelorette party is busted, and at 3.30 a.m., another crazy day in Vegas comes to an end. Do we need to make her leave? No, you don't. Well, we just gonna, you know, by the arms. Oh, the my, my name is Muffin Girl. We might need to handle her out the door. No, you don't. Oh my God! Okay, we're done. It's like we didn't eat. Okay, I'm going downstairs. <laughs>